guys, how are you doing today? Welcome back to this YouTube channel. It's your guy Igor here. Today I want to talk about insurance in Canada. And if you're watching this video, it's going to save you at least a couple of hundreds of dollars every single month by just watching this video for five minutes. I'm going to try to keep it in five minutes. So, insurance in Canada. If you want to drive one of those cars, like that car, for example, or any of those cars passing behind me right now, you need an insurance. There are two types of insurances in Canada. One is a third party. For example, if that car behind me was to hit someone and, and that car was responsible, it, the, the driver made a mistake, the other car would be fixed by the insurance of this guy. All right? So, and there is a full time, full coverage. Basically, that car would hit another car and both of the cars are going to be covered by the insurance of that guy, whoever is driving that car. There are two types. Basically, the full coverage, as you can imagine, it's two times more expensive, almost two times more expensive than the third party because there are two cars involved versus one car that is going to be repaired. Also, it's not legal to drive in Canada without getting an insurance. I used to pay $730 for my two cars of insurance last month and basically it's April when I'm recording this video basically it's this month next month onwards I'm paying $200 less for the same coverage just because I transferred my one of my cars to a different company so that's how I saved it now I'm going to tell you how you can save first rule is this if you're coming to Canada from your country, make sure you get two documents. One of them is from your insurance company and the other one is from police. So in Ukraine, this police here, you get it from other agency. First one is you have to get document from a police that's going to say how many years of driving experience you have, how many tickets you have had. So if you don't have much tickets and you have many years of experience, your insurance in Canada is going down. You're paying less money. If you are going to go to your insurance company in your country, it's going to save you tons of money because what they're looking in Canada is your insurance history. If you had an insurance before, for many, many years you have been paying it and you have never had an accident, you have never had any claims, they would love that. And this is going to give us a proof that you are a responsible driver and you will not have many claims and accidents. So they're going to charge you less money for that in Canada. All right, to, just to tell you, I was paying $730, now I'm paying $530 for my insurance. It's approximate, I think it's like a little bit more or less, 530 something, doesn't matter. My co-worker, a lady that I'm working with right now, she's like over 50 years old, senior lady, closer to 60. She's paying $200 for two cars versus me when I was paying $730, now I'm paying $530. So, it's like she's paying two times less than me. Why a single a simple reason? I'm younger, I have less years of driving experience, even though I have lots of years from Ukraine, I didn't get the document. So my five years of driving from Ukraine are not counted in Canada because I never got the documents. My insurance and that I didn't have any accidents in Ukraine, it's also not counted because my insurance history, I didn't bring it from Ukraine. So you get those two documents, you're gonna save a ton of money in Canada. Also, when you're choosing for different insurance companies, make sure you shop around. There is a ton of companies in Canada and insurance agents who are selling it to you. And all of them are trying to get a higher rate. But you as a customer have to be proactive and make sure you shop around. So what happened to me, I had an insurance and I was shopping around. I, got, I thought I got the best deal, but right now I figured out there's some mosquitoes are eating me here. That's why I'm doing like that. <laughs> Just annoying, flying all over the place somewhere. I don't know what's going on, I'm going to step away. So once you're shopping, make sure you shop around these different agents. There is lots of different companies who are going to sell, sell you an insurance and it's going to be like this, you call one company, they say your insurance is going to be $360 for one car. You call another company, they say your, your insurance is going to be $370 for one car. You call another insurance, the company is going to say your insurance is going to be $296. You're like, okay, I'm saving already. Then you're thinking, okay, I should go with that company. No, you keep on calling. And then you might figure out that someone is offering you $220. And then with that $220, you call the company who was offering you $230 or $240. And you say, well, the other company offered me $220. Can you beat that? And they're going to say, you know what, fine. 
$210. And now, if you just went with the first company, you'll be paying $360 for your insurance. And if you're going with the company that is cheaper, you'll be paying $210, $220. And it's in a, a month. So it's a huge amount of money over a year that you're saving. So if you're watching this video and you think this information I just gave you is valuable, make sure you hit that like button also. If you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. As well as I'm going to give you one more tip. So if you're buying a car, every car in Canada, they look like a matrix. They build like a formula. For example, the color of the car, the age of the car, the neighborhood you're living in and all of that stuff so if you didn't buy a house and you're planning to settle in Canada like I know it's a lot of research so you can start calling insurance companies and say I want to buy Subaru or I want to buy Toyota Corolla or I want to buy RAV4 or I want to buy I know Hyundai San Sonata or something you say which car you want to buy and depending on the value of the car depending on the color of the car depending on the model of the car they're going to tell you how much your insurance is because in Canada they go to madness they say that if you have a red car you're more aggressive on the road and that's why your insurance goes up if your car is one of the most stolen cars like they say Honda Civic is one of the most stolen cars in Canada people steal these cars a lot your insurance goes up you live in a neighborhood where there is lots of collusions they're going to say you're living in the area that has lots of collusions they're going to charge you more so before you buy a car or before you buy a house you can also do a research on the insurance what is going to be in that area what kind of insurance you're going to get for this car and this kind of stuff there's some stuff with some weird stuff flying and biting me like a mosquito but something different so i hope this video was helpful for you guys make sure you do a research shop around choose the right car and get those two documents from your home country go to your police station and go to your insurance and get those two documents with your experience get them translated into English and if you can just to make it like better get it notarized and that kind of stuff give it to your insurance company in Canada once you're here shop around first get first find the insurance you want to go with then ask them about those documents if they are going to accept it uh, lots of countries they would accept some countries they might not accept because of corruption and other stuff doesn't matter regardless get those documents two documents give it to the insurance shop around and it's going to be saving you a lot of money in the long term anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video also if you like the video don't forget to hit hit that like button if you think this video is saving you a lot of money and you want to see more videos I also love reading your comments guys like lately I had so many comments and that's why I was posting so many videos the more comments I get as I say the more videos I can produce for you and more answers I can answer for you guys so make sure you comment and ask me more questions that you would love to know and also if you're new to this channel consider subscribing to this channel hit that subscribe button to see more videos because I really want to see you in the next video thank you so much for watching guys we'll see you in canada someday if you see me on the street don't forget to say hi and we'll see you next video have a good one